Well, I got one of the drives uh, mocked up to see if it's truly got the enable section burned out. So, I've got the Linux CNC loaded up here. And what I've got down in here is just a quick little push button. So, if I press on this, that kicks in the enable, or actually disables the enable circuit. And if it's active, if the circuit works, then that means as soon as I have that pressed in, the motor should stop spinning. Let's see if it does. Okay, here we go. And... Oh, we got movement. Okay. Pressing the button now. Up. Uh, yep. I definitely overvolted and popped that component. And it's still spinning. Oh darn. Okay. I actually repaired one of the drives already just to make sure I could do it. Let's see what happens with the repaired drive. Now let's see what it does with a drive that has the working enable system in it. Or working enable circuit. Okay, come on. Press the button. Let off. Pressed it. Let off. Pressed it. I'm sure you can hear over the video that it is working. So that is what happens when you have a working enable circuit. Okay. All right, now to get this thing set up so you can see what it looks like inside and get the repair done. Okay, it's time to get to work. I've got the Z driver. Oh, let me see if I can actually get it into focus. The Z driver is here. And I guess we'll call this the Y. And as I said earlier, I already repaired the X, so I already know that one works. Oh yeah, might help if I have some thermal compound, wouldn't it? Definitely going to need some of that. Okay, now the optocoupler that I burned out is right here. As you can see, it's not an actual full time component exploded failure, but I definitely burned it out on the inside. As you saw in the video, early, well, earlier anyway, it won't stop when you want it to stop. So, Time to break out the desoldering iron as soon as I can get the uh, heat sink disconnected and desolder this component and put in a new one. Okay, well apparently I made a slight screw up and I have no idea where the little nut drivers I used to have are. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to do it the hard way.
Now, let's see. What I need is to get the, those couple connections right there. In order to do that, you need a desoldering iron. that blocked up. <sighs> Sounds better. There we go. Finally. There's little guy right there. Let's see if I can get these to clean up a little bit. Okay, if you're not familiar with electronics, most chips like this have a very specific orientation. Uh, I'm sure you can see that tiny little crater right there. That little indent or dot at the top left hand corner of the chip means that number one pin is right there. And that little indent right there in the silk screen is part of what tells you its orientation. Alright, I'll use some tweezers instead of my big fat fingers. Okay, so will the little indent, you can see it right there. That should line up with that entire area. See how there's indents in the other ones? There we go. See that indent there? That indent there. That indicates pin number one on those chips. Fortunately, I don't have to worry about replacing this or this chip. It's just this guy. That's the one that went out. Now to solder them in.
Okay. So, joint there, 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 and there. Those got done up. Okay. Now it's time to put this thing back together. Biggest drawback with the thermal compound is it likes to get everywhere. Okay, well that's one down. Spare you the pain of watching it on a second one. Well, did it work? That is the big question. Alright, I've got the Y drive in here. And got this all loaded up in Linux CNC. So let's see what it does. Okay. All right, touching the enable now. On, off, on, off, on, off. Okay. Off, off. Okay. Looks like that drive's ready to go. All right, time to switch out the other drive and see how it works. Okay, now for the Z drive's turn. Let's see if what I did worked. And play. Okay, where's that button? There we go. And on. Oh, crap. Well, I guess that one, what else? What was actually wrong with that drive? Because I'm hitting the button, it's doing nothing. Yep, see? Pressed in. And that thing is still moving. All right. So I got something else that failed in that drive. <sighs> oh well. Two out of three, I guess, is better than all of them being totally dead. Well, back to the drawing board. So I guess until next time, see ya!